Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Magic Banoszkiewicz from appsvolcano.com. In today's video I would like to present you information on how you too can quickly and easily start profiting from mobile games development. And this video is for all of you who doesn't have special skills, don't know coding, and as well for all of you with the special skills but you don't have time to start another game project. Before I jump into the content, I would like to bring your attention to my previous video tutorials which you can find on our uh, main website appsvolcano.com under the tab video blog. From those you can find out how you can start selling books, audiobooks from an app, how you can create and sell restaurant apps, uh, how you can make mobile website for local businesses. Also, we have very comprehensive video tutorial on business directory app and outsourcing the key to growing your business. Also, I would like to kindly ask you to whitelist my email addresses so they will not land in your spam folder and you don't miss any uh, upcoming videos. To find out how to whitelist email addresses, please go to appsvolcano.com, then click on support and then you will see a button called a whitelist our email. Now why mobile games? Why bother to develop to start making mobile games? What's the reason? Well the reason is quite significant as um, um, from all the apps out, out there mobile games are those who bring the most money. If we right now jump into uh, iTunes and have a look at the chart, top chart of grossing apps, we will see that all of them, or almost all of them, here's the category, uh, are games. Here we go. Game, 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 game. Number six, entertainment. Seven, game, 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 game. Let's jump into... Google Play Store as well top charts and top grossing apps game 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 and game and according Business Insider of 84% almost 85% of top 700 grossing apps are games and we all remember games like Angry Birds that's 200 million revenue in 2012. We all remember Flappy Bird. Uh, that's 50,000 uh, 50, dollars per day from ads revenue. And as also we remember Candy Crush Saga, and this is almost two billion dollars in 2013. Here is the list of some other uh, impressive uh, games. As you can see, the, the list is as well in hundreds of million dollars per year. Now I'd like to show you, uh, bring you this information on how actually games are monetized, how you make money from games. The most common way is ads banner. What it is, you, you go to some advertisement uh, websites, provider, networks, and you sign up, you create account, they will give you a publisher ID, you embed this, uh, this banner with, with your publisher inside your app, and every time someone clicks on the banner inside the app, you get uh, paid. Second uh, way is pay to download. Uh, to download the game, you need to pay upfront. Oh, and one more thing, the first uh, way, uh, usually the game is free. A uh, third way is in-app purchases. This uh, very often goes with free games. Uh, what it is, uh, you, you have an option to uh, buy either extra lives or a way to go to next level, uh, some special um, skills of the character. You buy it right from the app. Next way is affiliate links. What you do, you embed within your game uh, affiliate links. And when people click on the, on the banner or on the tab, 
uh, you get commission from the person who is providing affiliate program. Next, sell your own products, which is a similar way to previous one, but uh, you not selling someone's uh, uh, products, you sell your own products. Sponsorship, you can approach some company who games uh, relates to, which you just develop, and you can uh, tell them uh, you uh, will advertise this particular company within the app. Promotional games, what you can do, you can develop uh, a game for some company. Uh, the game would be uh, specially designed to promote particular product which this the, the company uh, manufacture and sells. And uh, another way is authority builder. As you can imagine, if you uh, create and publish many games, uh, you are view you are perceived as authority in the field. So you've decided that you will create and monetize the game. Now, where to take the ideas from? Well, I'm sure you had this aha moment in the past where you uh, got this uh, feeling that this particular game would be a hit. Apart of this, here are some more sources. News. Uh, you can check out um, blogs, particularly related to games, websites, uh, magazines, and uh, seek inspiration in those. App Store, uh, those would be the categories I, I mentioned before. Uh, next, your intuition. Uh, your intuitions or maybe your friends. You had a chat with friend and he had nice idea uh, which you could tweak and implement. Uh, also, websites and tools, apps like Google Trends, Yahoo Buzz, Google Alerts as well. Very nice tools. From Google Trends, you can see what kind of trends are. Of course, Google Alerts, Alerts is very nice tool as well, as you can set a, f a phrase when, um, if the, the phrase is typed into search, uh, you will get notification. So the phrase could be, uh, is there an app for, right? And every time someone types it, uh, you will get on uh, notification. So if someone is looking for a game which does, uh, I don't know, change uh, lights, traffic lights, right? So you get this idea. And maybe, maybe, who knows, this will be the next hit. Next, you can search websites uh, like topupcharts.com, appani.com. Those are similar source of information like app stores. Uh, then silly fun games. You, you probably hear a lot of those kind of news about guys who uh, created very simple game, farting games, or as I mentioned before, uh, traffic lights, changer, the, ga the games which are kind of pointless and actually doesn't do anything but they are silly fun which makes them viral. So you can take inspiration from those as well. And now how much are mobile games? So mobile games are, are great in terms of bringing money but of course they are not cheap and if you are looking to develop a simple game uh, the cost uh, probably would be between four and fifteen thousand, maybe twenty thousands. Uh, High-end games, uh, this would be around fifty thousand uh, dollars. And games like Candy Crush, it, it, we're talking about five hundred thousand uh, dollars. And uh, of course, I wouldn't make this video if I wouldn't have a solution for you. Uh, as you know, Apps Volcano is all about bringing the how know-how, bringing tools and solution to make mobile games, mobile apps, uh, not for the advanced user, not only uh, for them, but as well for anybody who is just willing to create games, mobile apps, but doesn't have skills. 
So the same in this case, uh, what we starting to do is uh, um, bringing you the possibility to have to be uh, mobile game developers and start on uh, monetizing this segment as well. And the, the solution to it is mobile games reskin. What it is, you uh, purchase a template of a game or full game and you ch replace and change graphics, you change uh, the icons, splash screen, uh, music, uh, sound effects, uh, you change the name and the, the, the best would be if you as well improve the game, you add some functionality, but if not, uh, that's fine and you publish this game uh, in the app stores. This is the uh, mobile games reskinning and this is the service which we are starting uh, now. I would like to show you a few games which made uh, quite a, a, a big money doing reskinning. Let's just go back to uh, App Store. As you remember the Flappy Bird app let me type floppy bird and, and here we are all of those are of all of those apps are reskins as you can see uh, we have something like splashy flash fi splashy, splashy fish uh, impossible flappy 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 wings uh, flappy hero, flappy zombie, we have flappy golf, uh, what else? Crazy, crazy stuff. So those games are uh, reskin, those are uh, so-called piggybacks from the hit, smash hit of Flappy Bird. And this is what you can do as well in, at Apps Volcano. And this is how the reskin works. Let me show you a few uh, few templates through games which we offer at the moment. We will try to add every week some more games and templates. So you go to appsvolcano.com, click on services then custom apps games and here is what our reskin service include uh, when you purchase a game uh, to be reskin from us you get a dedicated project manager you get the design proposals including full theme icon screenshots characters uh, splash screens you get uh, design integration uh, and optimization for all the uh, device size screen, uh, app store optimization, you get the uh, uh, most popular ads network integrated in your, to, in your app, in your uh, game, um, a template is included, uh, complete submission to app stores, uh, we can as well publish for you either under our developer accounts or your own uh, developer account and of course you get after uh, sell support how to order a game reskin you simply choose uh, the game from the templates uh, from the gallery which I'm about to show you then you create support ticket uh, titled custom apps game so you go to support then support ticket and then this category custom apps games and then we will send you the designs and you can either approve them or reject and if you are happy with the designs we will publish the game for you here are some uh, frequently asked questions which you can have a look and here are here are our games which we offer at the moment uh, to preview how the game looks like, simply click on click to watch video 
and here the pop-ups uh, with the uh, game how it looks like so you get the idea here are some more templates uh, to choose from and here, here is as well Flappy Fish which is the skin of Flappy Bird which you can have for as low as 695 uh, I'm not sure how long this price will be here but at the moment this is what it is this is how the uh, oops, sorry this is how the game uh, one moment. this is how the game looks like at the moment so instead of uh, a bird you have fish of course this could be uh, someone's face this could be a uh, rabbit this could be a, a bat this could be anything potato even anything and the scenery of course at the back would be different what else we have uh, we have flappy wings which is similar let's have a look right all uh, made to imitate the flappy bird and of course you can have your own angry bird game and the crazy thing is it's just at the moment 845 dollars let's have a look how it looks like in this case there are zombie faces but obviously this could be and this will be uh, something else in your case very similar to angry but so this is the our templates at the moment next week should be uh, more now I would like to give you some tips and advice if you decide to go ahead and reskin some uh, game uh, the first things uh, which I like to mention is before you decide to buy template first research what's hot at the moment uh, use all those resources I mentioned before check app stores top categories top charts reviews uh, what uh, what people are talking about on in some on forums blogs websites magazines check out competitors what's hot at the moment and try to piggyback the game which is on the top next tip next tip uh, get the name right if it comes to uh, app store optimization your name is very important uh, so you need to make sure you've chosen the keywords which are typed the most uh, there are tools like Google uh, Planner, for instance, and many, many others. Um, then check uh, the reviews. Uh, look for people complaining, for instance, that this particular ga uh, game, which is uh, apparently on the top, but there is something wrong with them. Uh, there is some future missing. Uh, it would be nice if it would have this and this and this look for those kind of complaints and get the game with the improvements then uh, right this is, this is what I mentioned can you improve the game if you can uh, it's great you are uh, on the very right track to monetize it uh, big time then target niches Mm, as I mentioned this flappy bird uh, try if it's possible or maybe if you have idea to create um, those graphics around some uh, particular niche uh, maybe this could be uh, let's say dog 
niche and then you can go uh, deeper inside this uh, niche and let's say choose particular breed of the dogs and then uh, you can uh, target people who are lovers of those particular uh, dogs so this is just one idea of of uh, niches of targeting a particular niche uh, creating a, a game then get creative uh, this is uh, for instance uh, those silly funny games right uh, you would be surprised how much money this guy made from this farting uh, game farting up uh, I don't remember now exactly but it's it's crazy it's crazy so again talk to your friends family maybe they have some cra crazy ideas or um, silly up ideas uh, then choose strategy uh, what you can do you can choose to create quality games so for instance it will take much longer but the game will be a quality one many futures and very useful or you can go for other strategy which is you go for the numbers the quality is low and the game you create quickly quickly reskin and uh, publish so you will go for quantity uh, the reason uh, uh, to choose this particular strategy is that uh, you can uh, um, judge from the downloads which direction then go so for instance from 20 games you will see that two particulars uh, are uh, performing very very well so this is a sign to go for uh, the 20 first game which will be quality game in this direction where those two are that's it for today's video i hope you enjoy i hope you are start making uh, mobile games if you have any question or something is not clear or you have some idea for next tutorials please let me know i'm more than happy to receive an email from you my email address is magic with the k at absolutevolcano.com thank you very much and until the next time